Hi folks, it's Andy. I hope you're having a great day. Today we're looking at the basic opportunities for attack in Kendall. It is a very basic overview um, or introduction really of the uh, the opportunities that exist. Um, the, it's a massive topic of course. There's loads of opportunities and loads of ways to, to create them uh, but we're going to look at it on the very very basic level first off. So if you're just starting out in Kendall um, hopefully this will be a very uh, interesting and useful video to you. If you've got a bit more experience um, or you've got Kendall student, uh, students sorry, um, then hopefully still um, either it'll be a good recap for you or something that you can refer people in your club um, or your students to uh, for their benefit as well. Before we jump into the video, I do want to just talk to you about kendostar.com. Kendostar.com, of course, is uh, the Kendo equipment website that's uh, owned and operated by myself, um, and it's there to provide Kendo equipment, top quality Kendo equipment, um, for the international Kendo community. I worked for about a decade in Japan as a kendo equipment professional, working for some of the biggest companies in the industry. But I got quite frustrated that they weren't properly catering to the needs of international customers. The thing is, I absolutely love kendo and I want you to love it as much as I do. But it isn't as fun if your equipment isn't comfortable and doesn't protect you properly, doesn't last you long and isn't suited to your own needs. So head over to kendostar.com because that's where you'll find equipment that's particularly designed for the international market. It's comfortable, it's protective, it's top quality and everything on there is free international shipping as well. It's thanks to your support of Kendo Star that allows me to make these videos. So if you do enjoy the channel, if you do enjoy the content that I put out, um, then yeah, I would ask you to, uh, to give us a try if you haven't done already. Get over to kendostar.com and do all your shipping there. Okay, that's the end of the plug. Uh, let's get into the video and uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's have a quick look at the very basic opportunities that are available to us to make effective strikes in Kendall. First, obviously we already know that we have four main targets. We have the men, we have the kote, the right wrist, we have the do, and we have ski, which is a strike to the throat. So, what are the opportunities that we have to actually make these attacks effectively? First of all, let's look at the position of his shinai as this is the easiest way to recognize most of the basic um, opportunities. If he is um, a person that has a low kensen, the tip of the shinai, if it is riding low, then this opens him for a strike to the men, because now I am not feel, feeling threatened by his sword. I have a route to his men. I also have the similar route to his suki as well. Okay, um, given the choice, I personally prefer to hit men um, as it's a much more obvious point and uh, it tends to have a better effect even than tsuki. If he is a person, however, that is riding with his kensen very high, this instantly opens up a door to his kote, okay? Maybe even a little higher. Even there, I'm now able to hit his kote without very much problem. In addition to his kote, I still have a route to his men, and also his tsuki, okay? I do not have a route to his door, okay? Because his arms are down, and this isn't really, even though I can reach the target, this is not considered a valid opportunity for door, okay? So if I was to hit his door at this point, here like this, this would not be considered valid. On the other hand, if he was to raise his hands, perhaps in defense, um, somewhat higher like this, then 
This opens up his door very nicely. Perhaps he thinks I'm going to attack his men, but actually, I'm going to attack his door. Okay? This is obviously a very good chance for me to hit his door. We are also allowed to hit the other side of his door in Kendall, but it's a much harder technique, which we'll cover in a later video. So for the time being, let's focus on hitting this side of the door, okay? The opponent's right side. Door, like this, okay? Further, should his Kensen move, not just up and down, but perhaps left and right? Um, if it moves to his right, which is my left, this way, this becomes now very open for me to strike his men. Very easy, because it's completely out of my body line. I can very easily make a strike to his men, and again, to Tsuki. Conversely, if it's over this side, and not many people stand in this way, but perhaps there is a way that you can get his Kensen over this way, we have a very clear route to his Kode, and his men, and again, his Tsuki. Okay, but one more time, we don't really have the chance to hit his door. What we have to figure out is if he's not naturally standing in this way, how can we get his shinai to move in the way that we want to? Now, I already mentioned a moment ago that perhaps we're going to get him to think we're going to hit his men, and that's going to raise his arms so that we can hit the door. But, for example, maybe through strong pressure, he'll feel afraid and inadvertently open the shinai up this way allowing for that men strike. Perhaps he's got a very strong kamai and very holding the shinai very strongly with lots of power. And in that way, I can give a little bit of pressure and the minute I release it, he may overcompensate, giving me a route to his kote. Perhaps he holds the shinai very softly, very lightly, in which case I may benefit from quickly striking his shinai this way or this way. Yeah? Maybe I'll press down this way, and in response, he'll feel that his men is under pressure, and his hands will come up, and I'll have the chance to hit his door. Okay? There's lots of ways. Okay? You have to study that yourself, and also we'll cover them in further videos too. But these are the main basic chances to strike men, kote, do, and ski in kendo. So there you go, that was the basic opportunities to strike in Kendall. Uh, what do you think? You like it? Let me know, there's a comment section. You can leave a thumbs up, you can leave a thumbs down if you're feeling mean. You can, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You can uh, subscribe, like, share, do all that stuff. Press all the, the social media buttons, you know what to do. So go and do that. And uh, yeah, like I said, it was a very basic introduction to the, uh, to the opportunities to strike. Um, if you're a more advanced sort of practitioner and it was a little bit below your level, then just share it with some of the people in your club. Um, hopefully, that are, you know, people that are just starting out, maybe they'll they'll get something from it. Um, if you are just starting out in kendo yourself, and then again, I hope it was useful for you. And um, you know, even if not necessarily right now, uh, maybe in a, in a few months' time as you start to progress. Uh, so yeah, I hope it was I hope it was useful. Uh, standard disclaimer though, uh, the uh, uh, this is um, you know obviously my opinion on things based on my own experience. If you go to the to, to your kendo class and your teacher or your sensei tells you, oh no, that that's different. Don't don't go saying to them, oh no, well Andy Fisher says this or or what have you. You know, just make sure make sure you follow what your teacher teacher says okay that's the most important thing um, so before I go uh, one more time I've got a plug kendo star because that's what that's what keeps this thing going so uh, yeah make sure you're doing your shopping at kendostar.com okay great brilliant well I'll see you in the next episode and uh, look forward to next time